All right, guys, got a box here coming from my local state, John, who lives just south of me, also on my Discord channel. Maybe you can watch me cut myself here, but um, I will avoid it for sure. So um, this guy here should, yep, nice, has a cardboard protector, has my love note. Let's see, looks like we have a couple watches in here, so let's get rid of that. So we have a G-Shock, and then we should have a San Martin. Gotta have the loot, gotta have the loot. All right, so let's check out the San Martin first. Depending on what these are, I, I don't know if I'll do full videos on these, um, but I'll definitely do the unboxing. You guys like to see these unboxings, so I have to open them anyway, and let's check them out. And I know a lot of people are very interested in these San Martin watches because the value that they offer. So, a nice smaller case and a very simple Explorer-ish dial on there. I'm going to have to wipe that clean, guys. That's going to drive me nuts. Is there something on there? I think it's just residue or something. I'm gonna have to clean this up. There's like some smudging and stuff on there, but what size is this case? Is this a 30, so about a 37? Are we gonna say this is a 37? 36, depending on where you measure it from. 36, 37, lug to lug. Pretty short at like 44 thickness, just under 11 and a half. Uh, lug width. 20 bracelet tapers down to probably 16. It has a screw down, it's a pretty sterile case back. This is really well constructed, guys. Even look at the emblem on the clasp. Nice clasp for micro adjust, double pushers. Much better than uh, a clasp that I've seen from a similar watch in the past. Uh, screw, yep, screw links on the bracelet. Is this a screw down crown? It is a screw down crown. What movement is in this? So this is the San Martin SN021G, 36 millimeter. And John is the first owner, it says excellent condition. Let's see if I can, see if I can figure out what movement's in this. It has a ghost date, and then it stops. Hmm. I'm not sure what movement is in this. You guys chime in. Let me know what movement's in this. I don't, uh, I don't really see that information. Looks like it comes with a tool. Some information there. This is pretty much standard information that you would get with the watch. So if you guys know what movement's in there, let me know. I don't see it listed. And then, of course, the G-Shock here is the GA. MWB 5001 CR. Let's open this up and take a look at this guy. So this is the black case with the positive display and then the rubber strap. Just a classic watch. I mean, if you're just looking for the next level, so instead of a, just a regular resin plastic G-Shock, but you still want the rubber strap, this is the one you want right here. Go get this one. Or, you know, there's blue one, but really, honestly, this black one with the positive display and then the rubber strap, I could do without the metal keeper, but that's fine. You could actually even change that out if you wanted to. This one right here is awesome. It has Bluetooth, solar, multi-band, um, all of that. So it has everything that you're going to want in a modern G-Shock for a pretty affordable price. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You know what? I will close you out with a loom shot on this guy because I legit, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a full video on it. So let's kill the lights, check the loom on this. BGW9, it, it's there. It's not super bright. And actually, I can even do a wrist shot real quick. I already went almost five minutes because I'm fooling around with it. The only thing I'm missing here is the movement information, but... 
John has about the same size wrist. So there it is, 36 millimeter on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Maybe this is the watch for you. I'm telling you right now, I'm actually pretty dang impressed with it. Screw down crown, like I said. Nice automatic movement. Excellent taper on the bracelet. Really nicely done clasp. Uh, I'm not mad about this one. This is a pretty good watch. This one, I actually kind of want this one. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next vid.